Now let us see the next chapter data handling. So what is the data? Now let us see the information collected from the students. Now I will take the heights of the students in a table. Now for example the height of a particular student Ravi is 150 centimeters and the height of Raju is 145 centimeters and the height of Lata is 140 centimeters and the height of Srija is 138 centimeters so these are the heights of some students in a class now this is the information collected in the form of numbers or words and from this information so we can take the decisions like who is the tallest student in the class and who is the shortest student in the class and we can make some we can draw some conclusions using this information so what is the data the information which is in the form of numbers or words and helps us in taking decisions and drawing conclusions is called the data the information which is in the form of numbers or words and helps us in taking decisions and drawing conclusions is called the data now so in this data this is the information regarding the heights of the students so from this information we can take some decisions and we can draw some conclusions so this information in the form of a table and in the form of numbers or words is called the data now the numerical entries in the data so this 150 centimeters 145 centimeters and 140 centimeters 138 centimeters so these are the numerical entries so these numerical entries in the data are called observations so we can write the numerical entries in the data are called observations and the we can represent any data in the form of table or graphs so here we can write that the tables and graphs are used to represent the data so we can use tables or graphs to represent any data now next topic organizing data how to organize the given data For example, the marks in a certain FA of some students are given that Krish has got 30 marks and Rani has got 25 marks. 
and Rakesh has got 45 marks and Ramani has got 42 marks and Kishore has got 39 marks. Now, so these are the marks of some students in a class conducted in a FA formative assessment out of 50 marks. Now, the same marks can be represented in another way using the tables. Now, here you will take the student and here you will take marks. Now the first student Krish, the second student Rani and the third student Rakesh, next Ramani and next Kishore. So we take the different students in the first column and we will take the marks of the students in the second column so yeah Krish has got 30 marks so we write 30 and Rani has 25 Rani has got 25 marks and Rakesh 45 marks and Ramani 42 marks and Krish and Kishore has got 39 marks so this is the organization of data in the form of tables now the same table can be represented either in the ascending order or in the descending order of the marks of particular students so if you arrange all the students in the ascending order of the marks then we get first 25 rani then second we get krish 30 marks then we get Kishore 39 marks, then we get Ramani 42 marks, then at last we get Rakesh 45 marks. If you arrange the students in the descending order of the marks, then we get first Rakesh and last Rani. Now next we will learn about the representative values. Now if you take an instance, for example, in a hostel, the average consumption of rice per child per day equals to 